Hello and welcome uh, to another episode, episode two of the Business Automation Show with myself, Suki Wahiwala, and Jatinda Bala. Jatinda? Hello, Suki. How are you? Very well, team. Absolutely sorted. Today, we've got a power packed session for yourself. This is literally for everybody who's starting up in business is a single single banded individual somebody who can't necessarily employ individuals to sort the invoicing at chase the customers etc and maybe those individuals who are running a plumbing industry plumbing company a building company any of those sort of things so it's on your hand with an absolute application as well this episode is brought to you by salesmasterhub.com salesmasterhub.com is an amazingly integrated platform for customer relations management, CRM as people call it, and also invoicing, accounting, but very low level accounting and payment portal systems. There's loads more email marketing and structured funnels, which we're gonna go through this series and start to talk about those things. Today, we're gonna to talk specifically about the power of using electronic automated invoicing systems and how that helps with cash flow within your company and how easy it is to set up in the Sales Master Hub dot com platform so it's a jatinda if we could leave i mean if i set the framework for everybody the the challenge that most individuals have as a one-man band or a let's say a small um growing business is that every bit of expense has to be put into re regenerating the sales the the staff and the premises and the stock for example or, or actually equipment tools if you're a, a maintenance individual so it's not really that easy to get uh, a second person in the office or somebody to run the management side of things on the bookkeeping. Does that make sense, Jitinder? Absolutely. So the principle of this particular series is to show how businesses can be automated. Today, we're going to talk about the power of invoicing. How is invoicing, electronic invoicing, beneficial? So having a written invoice and individuals who use things like Word or Pages if you're a Mac user, Word if you're a, a, an Office user, or even one of these online portals, which just is a free invoicing system. The question arises that, of course, you can raise a simple invoice or you can handwrite an invoice, of course. Um, so we're, we're incorporating, I'm just gonna recap that again. We've got people who write their invoices out, so they have a duplicate book. If that book goes missing, They've lost all their documentation. They've got no backup of the information of who owes them any money. And if they haven't got a, a, a copy of that, then they've lost that forever. With individuals who are using the online portals, that means just dedicated invoicing free systems. The key, key question is how secure is it? Your information is being logged into the system. Your sales are being logged into the system and easily hackable. Um, the benefits of using a system like the SalesMaster Hub is because it is super secure. It's on a secure server, it's encrypted, so it's very, very well secured. If you go online, you can create an invoice, and can you imagine a world being able to send an invoice to somebody, for them to receive the invoice, you can see whether they've seen the invoice, so they can't accidentally say they haven't even seen the invoice, didn't receive it, and whether they've opened it, and you'll also be able to see that they've noticed that they can pay directly from the invoice. And you can also set a, a date, a time for the due times. So in X amount of times, it can be uh, X amount of days, seven days, 14 days, 30 days, the payment will automatically be chased. This to me is the core of the sales machine for any business. So Jatinda, today, is it possible for us to have a look through how easy it is with Sales Master Hub to set up an invoice or in a client, a customer, and actually raise an invoice. And then we'll just talk a little bit about um, how it can help us chase funds coming in in this trying time. Yeah, sure, Suki. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, um, it's, it's a really funny one because, um, you know, small businesses, the, the, the typical thing that happens with small businesses is that, you know, like you said, you know, they create their own invoice, they send it out, then they email the client and say, I'll just send you the invoice. And the client might go online and do a bank transfer. And then you've got to check the bank transfer, see if the money's coming in. And it just becomes a very long process, right? And um, this can, you know, have an effect on cash flow. And then, you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, no, I've got to chase up with a customer. I don't really want to chase the money kind of thing and all that kind of stuff, right? So if you're finding yourself with the anxiety of chasing a customer after sending an invoice, 
this is the key, isn't it? It's so, so powerful to have a, a system that's automated for you that reminds people through text, SMS, and reminds them with a payment link as well. So um, wonderful. Thank you. So please carry on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's just, it's just a good way to just, you know, ha have something automated, you just chase up on payments and it just makes life super simple. Um, yeah, I mean, I can show what we do in the system. Yeah, please. I mean, it'd be really wonderful if you could log into our test account and see and show all of our viewers today. If, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, as I'm hoping you are, the, uh, as you know, the business automation show is always streamed weekly, currently on the Mondays, please uh, look below and actually put a comment into the comment system. It's on my website, on, sorry, on my YouTube channel, Suki Wahiwala official content, but please, please, please put a comment down there. So at least assists us to understand what you would like to learn next or any problems you're having with business automations. And then we'll try and help you as best we possibly can using the sales master system as well. Okay. So I'm just going to share my screen. Yes. Okay, you can so, see that. Perfect. Yep. You see my screen. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Is it possible just to max that screen out and then um, because we get slightly a bit of better image quality? That's better. And okay. everything's great. That's brilliant. All right. Cool. Fantastic. So um, pretty much two ways that you can, well, there's one way to create the invoice, but there's, there's a few different things you can do. You can either create the invoice as a service comes up, mm -hmm. or if you've already um, you know, got services in the system, then that can be bought up as well. And it's really quite simple to do. All you need to do is basically, for example, when you're logged into the hub, you go to your clients and... Now, this is a question. Sorry to interrupt you there, Jatinder. Yep. But this is about, this is not about selling anything. So we, we really want to help people through this uh, setup procedure. So the question is, um, these are people that we've shown that are already clients in the system. And what we're going to do is episode three, we're going to show you episode three and four, actually it's probably episode four. We'll show you how to set up the clients in the system as well. Yeah. Uh, but for this particular, if you followed episode one, we showed the calendar and how the power of having a virtual calendar. This episode is dedicated to the power of virtual invoicing. And next episode, we're going to talk about virtual payment portal connections. And in the, the fourth episode, we'll be talking very specifically about how to set up the clients and CRM and communicate with them regularly. So thank yep. you for that. Fantastic. So yeah, simple as you know, you go into your client list, you find a client. Um, as obviously in your system, you'll have a lot more clients. This is just a, a dummy account. Mm -hmm. um, so if you basically click on the payments tab here, mm -hmm. um, and then just go to the tab at the top here and just go to new and okay. invoice. And what will happen is it'll bring up this uh, box. It's got your pre-populated content, like your business name and any address details and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, you can, you know, the invoice number, you can set your currency on here, purchase order, the issue date, the due date as well. So just to clarify something. So you, this system can actually function with purchase orders as well. That's right. So you can put a purchase, purchase order op option in there as well. So just to clarify for everybody else who's listening today and just to clarify what, uh, just to make it clear what a purchase order is, if you're about to give an order, like currently there's a lot of PPE orders around, if you're about to give an order to somebody, you can raise a purchase order here for them so that they can buy you, so that they can prove to their systems that they've got an upline order. Um, one more thing as well is just I just noticed over here, all this pre-populated stuff, it's really, is it really easy to amend? Because is it something that's already in the system? Does it happen automatically? Yeah, so the pre-populated stuff is in another section. Um, when you set up the system, you've got like a, um, a services area, you go in and put your business details in, mm -hmm. and it basically just utilizes those and puts them in there. Wonderful. Thank you. Please carry on. Yep. So, um, yeah, so you got your issue date, you could put a due date, so you can set, um, you know, a future date if you needed to. So here we could do a, a seven day or a three day or an immediate payment or a 30 day or whatever agreement's been put in place. That's right. Yep. And I can and, see the uh, calendar button there. So it's just simply as, a, as easy as just clicking the button, putting the date out. That's it. That's right. Amazing. Yep. So, so how would one... click on the calendar like this and it yeah. puts it in there. So for the sake of this particular invoice, could we put maybe one day, you know, a 24 hour? Yep. We're on the eighth the day, the ninth. <laughs> yeah. There we are. Yeah. So that's it. That was easy as that. Wow. That is that's really, right. That is really easy. And how easy is it to raise an actual invoice? Yeah. So what you then do, you have to put an item in there. But if if you click on um, the items, any services that you've put in the system already, they yeah. will get listed here. 
if it doesn't exist in the system and you just, you know, did something ad hoc or you just need to create something like, you know, the bought a book from you or mm -hmm. um, a, an event fee, for example, just put an event in there, let's just say, um, you can put a title in there and you can create a new item. What, that easy? That so easy. Let me get this clear. Oh my God. So with Sales Master, it's really simple. So I've, let's say I've got, um, I'm a, let's say I'm a plumber. Yeah. Or a coach, but we'll look yep. for the plumber for a second. If I was a plumber and we do a, a service or a certification for gas plumbing, and then we do maybe a, a call out service call and maybe a boiler, but each boiler would have its own um, brand name and relevance to each company, each customer. So if I opened up the, open this up there and had pre load of information there, and let's say uh, we were going to fit a, let's say a, a, a glow worm, uh, uh, boiler and the boiler that glowworm products not inside my list over there is it that easy just to say glowworm xxx and press add to the list that's it that's right yeah so you could just put it put just create the new item here and, and just add it in there oh, amazing so, that's amazing so right now you can put consulting in that context so that's right yeah so you just type it in for example you just click on create new you get another field so you can just put a bit more details about um, this product or service. So you put a description in here, they've got the name, um, the for quantity. The of, for the sakes of now, we just put down something like, uh, um, uh, you could say online consultancy. Yep, that's right. Or online training, yeah. yeah. Online training, yeah. So you just put that in, you can then just set the price. So we just say, I don't know, make up some numbers. We'll just say- 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Yep. Uh, if there was a discount, you can apply the discounts here. Um, as a, as so this, a, this would account for when somebody has created a price for like say hundred pounds for a consultancy. Um, and maybe this could be an hourly consultancy. And then on the same token, if a client, if you've done a special deal with somebody and said to them that I'll charge you 75 pounds for argument's sake, I'm not really a heavy uh, believer of discounting. because I think the price should be correct in the first place yep. here. You'd put 25% in there and it would be fine. That's right. Um, so you could put a percentage or the actual monetary uh, amount that you want to discount if you wanted to do that um what you can also do is if you feel that this item is going to be something that you're going to add as a regular basis you can actually save this item for later use oh amazing so here for example we've got consultancy we yep. could in fact make that a permanent thing and call it consult uh, one hour consultancy that's right yeah so we can just, just say one hour consulting for example um, just press Anybody who's watching, item. you know me, I'm a bit of a detail guy. Can you put that C in that make it capital? It's a bit of a joke, but I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> there you see, you see all Absolutely. the inspired tribe who are following this, these videos and <laughs> love it. So if they know that's what I'm like, it's about detail. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, you, yeah. So once you're happy with all that, you just click on add. It takes you back to the original screen uh -huh. and you see it's added the item there. And then if you scroll down, what you can also do, here, here's some cool bits you can do. So usually what happens is um, there's two types of payments, right? Is bank transfer or uh, actually paying through the system, okay. right? Uh, if you, if you want to make it so it's only through the system, then you don't need to put any notes in. But if you wanted them to do a bank transfer or give them that option, you can actually add that to the notes for the client here. So you can put bank transfer details in the notes section if you so wanted to. In the notes section, you could basically pop your pop your bank details for transfer. That's right. Yeah. And and could this also be a? We're not going to show it right now, but could that also be a fixed feature, like at the bottom there, where it says terms and conditions? Could yeah. you put it into that section? You could do. You could put in the terms and conditions. Um, Great. Yeah, and it, it uh, can be stuff you've kind of put in there, so it repeats itself if need to be. Wonderful. So just a question. Um, and it's, it's a bit of a silly question, I know, but let's say you've done two hours. Let's make this invoice for two hours. So literally, it's as simple as changing that quantity that I've just seen you hover over to two, and that's it. That's right. It's quite simple. And I know that seems really quite uh, logical for so many people, but it's, it's actually quite interesting to see that working. And at the bottom, I can see, um, if I may say, you've got allow client to pay online. So in the next episode, we're going to be talking about payment integration portals so that you don't even need to chase people um, and you don't even need to ask them for uh, online transfers if you don't want to. It can actually literally put a, a Stripe or a PayPal link straight in, can't they? That's right, yeah. So you can use Stripe or PayPal for um, taking payments. Brilliant. Okay, right. leave it at one. Let's, let's get on. So if this is basically, um, let's say, let's say you've, you're in the middle of a conversation and you want it to be efficient, 
and you've raised an invoice for whoever this client is for an hour consultancy. And let's say you suggested that you wanted to um, still talk to them a little bit more about some of the products before you completed this because they've agreed for one hour. And let's say you're in the middle of a consultancy, you've given them 24 hours to pay it, so it's not prepaid for argument's sake. Um, I can see at the bottom there it says save draft. So literally mm -hmm. you could just save that right now. Is that right? That's right, yeah, just click on save draft. Now, what the power of saving as a draft is that they've saved the product, it's sitting in the system, so that when they've spoken to somebody, you might end up with an extra hour with a consultancy. It could be live, so you can go back into your draft invoice, is that right? And then just turn it into three hours and then send it again. So all you do then is basically just go to the payments uh, link on the side, click on invoices and bookings, mm -hmm. and what this will show you are all the kind of active uh, invoices that are in the system. So if you click through to that, It'll just reopen it. It tells you the details like this. It's that, that's what it'll start looking like. That's really clean, isn't it, Jatinder? Yeah. That's not complicated at all. It's, it's just like telling you clearly that invoice amount is £100 on the top there. You can clearly yep. see it there. Telling you it's a draft. Invoice number. At the bottom, the date of creation. Date issued, date due, which is the 9th, which we talked about a moment ago. Yep. And on the right-hand side, as you can see in the middle, it says very clearly what the content of the invoice is. This is just it's easy. Yep, that's right. And if you need to edit it, you just click on these three dots and just click on edit. And that will bring up the box again. Uh -huh. And then if you need to, for example, like you were saying before, if you got another consultancy that you added, you just add that in and it updates the total. Amazing. Right. So and you just save as, a, save as a draft again. You can either save it as a draft or if you press send, then it becomes an active invoice. So we'll just send it now. Uh, click on send for example and now that's actually been you see it's changed it to issued so okay 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 so this is now as soon as you've sent is that has that invoice already gone to the customer now that's right yeah that, that is that invoice is gone. so that's yeah that was it i just press one button i'll press yeah. an invoice and in this case the smart business hub has already received the invoice for 200 pounds that's it yep that I mean, come on! I could anybody can do that, right? That's so easy. Exactly. Actually, an invoice, press return, bang, and they've got it in their email, one hundred percent. That's right. Yeah. So I'm just uh, just checking my emails. Bear with me. So just whilst uh, Chitinder's finding this information out, he's checking on his other email system for sales. Uh, so it's Smart Broadcasting Hub as a client on this, uh, just to see whether it's received the invoice, and then obviously, hopefully, that'll show us. So that was just literally um, we set, we raised the draft. We increased the, um, amended the invoice and then just pressed one button send and it went straight to the customer and that was it, as quick as that. Yeah. So on here, if we wanted to see what the customer saw, if we pressed view invoice, would that show us a PDF of what the customer seen? So if you click on view invoice, you basically get the, like a, um, yeah, wow. potential invoice, what it looks like, you could download it, you can print it. That looks really neat, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, it looks super professional, very neat, very simple. And this is fully tracked within the system, isn't it, Jatinda? That's right. Yep. So if um, for any reason, this is, if we move into the context of this being sent to a client and they've received this invoice um, and it was due for payment, let's say tomorrow, because it says due date the 9th, which is the next day, mm -hmm. what would happen if they missed that due date or what would, what would you be seeing at the other end? Would they be prompted at all? And how easy is it to make a payment? Yeah, so basically what happens is if um, you could, there's a setting which allows you to send a reminder text or email mm -hmm. after a certain period of time. So say they, the invoice is due, uh, you could set it to say like one day later or two hours later or a week later, just send them a reminder email. And then that will send them a reminder email or a text message to the client as well. Amazing. You see, what I've learned over the years is that sometimes people actually forget, well, actually, if they don't have a systemized place in their brain, consciously, where they're constantly, where they can consciously see the processes of raising an invoice and sending it to a client and actually visualize a process for it to be paid, they actually are more reluctant to raise an invoice, which actually has a detrimental effect on the sales. And as we know, sales is the bloodline to any company. That's so this right. Actually, so this eases that tension. So I'm, if I was a client here, I'd feel completely free here 
but if you just raise an invoice quickly, press send, within about three clicks, the person's got an invoice ready to make payment. So the system is preset, it's making chase ups for us, um, and, and the client obviously is great for cash flow and also increasing sales, full stop. That's right. So, yeah, then what you do, Suki, once that email goes through, is yeah. I'm just opening it up just to show you. Um, do you know what? While, while you're talking there, while you're getting the page set up, I'm just going to just make an observation at how simple this looks because so many online portals are so complicated to look at. It just, it just, completely confuses you. This is really easy. There's about five or six elements on the left. It really works like email. It looks like an email client, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's so right. Easy. So easy. And so yeah. what am I looking at now? This is the email that you would, that, that a client would get. So your customer and, sees um, an invoice like this. Yep. So they basically see this and it's got the option to view this online or click through to go to the payment page. And can you imagine uh, your customer receiving something like this, which makes you look so professional, <laughs> right? You know what, I'm, I'm saying it, it, it looks as though you've got a whole um, a, a team and an, a whole office working behind somebody on this, isn't it? That's right, that's right. So I'm just gonna show you when you click on like uh, view online, for example, it's just gonna open up a different browser just because of the browser settings I've got. Could you move that slightly to the left? Because I think yep. uh, our video comes in the top left, top right, sorry, yeah. That's fine. Oh, so, so you can clearly see a logo. Yep. I mean, this looks like a like a, a client portal, doesn't it? That's right. So you do actually get a client portal. I'll show you that in a second as well. But um, when you click on the email, it takes mm -hmm. you to a page like this. And you can just literally click on pay and uh, continue to the payment. And it just brings up uh, the details where you can put in all the Stripe, Stripe details to take the payment. Like you get invoice thing like this, fill up all your details. And now Stripe will basically take that payment into so the system. So Stripe is a, as just for people who don't know, it's a, basically a payment system, um, an aggregator, a bit like uh, your visa system. So it holds it in the background. And basically this allows any of your clients to simply, if you can see their pay with card, pop their card details in it with an SSL, this is secured, and then press pay the 100 pounds or the 200 pounds, and that will automatically send the payment into the system, pay the invoice, and it will take this payment into your account. It will yep. also take this invoice from your system saying it's no longer uh, due, it goes into paid. Um, that's right. So it's, it's, that's, that's how easy it is. And the customer's doing all the work for you, which is where the power is. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, it's just simple. They just put the card details in, make the payment, that updates the invoice, that tells you that it's been paid. I mean, obviously we haven't put it through. Um, but yeah, the, and if you just click on the back button, this is basically what Could you the client portal, I'm just going to zoom in a bit. Yeah, please do. That's what the client portal looks like. So every client will have almost like a backend access to the system like this. Uh -huh. And this will show all the invoices they've made payments of. If they need to schedule a booking with you, they can do it from here. Um, and it's just a nice little, you know, if you wanted to, if they send messages between your clients, you could just do that from here as well. Do you know what? I think uh, we'll, we'll, this is this within itself. Look how simple it looks. Schedule a call, schedule now, make payment, click to call, all these brilliant things. So this looks so simple and easy to use. Um, what I'm going to do is, but I think what we'll have is we have an agenda. We have a whole episode just on the back client smart broadcast or the, the client portal or the hub, which allows the customer what they can do with the back office. So it really, really becomes functional for the sales master client. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed today and seen how easy it's been to raise an invoice, uh, really quickly, add a new product straight onto the invoice and also just immediately send that e email to the client and the customer how quick it is for them to make a payment. Can, I mean, Jatinda, if you could just understand, I mean, you've got a lot of experience with this being with your client base as well. Do you find that when a client has a simple system like this, just so we can close out the episode, that it increases their sales? They find it easier to raise an invoice and receive payment? What do you, what do you find in your experience? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's one of those funny ones because when a client actually utilizes it and does it for the first time, all of a sudden it's like, oh my goodness, I, could, I should have been doing this years ago. Right? Yeah, wow. And the other thing that also happens is that um, your client's um, perception of your business goes up as well because they've just seen you've got a really good automated system. 
And um, they then basically say, well, how did you do that? Or what's that all about? Or, so it, it, it helps in both ways. In both ways. So yeah. this is, uh, it, to me, I can see very clearly that all of our clients from the Inspired Tribe and around uh, individuals who would like to get involved, by the way, just obviously click on the links below and please join some of our, our portals. But what I'm seeing here, Jatinda, is this is the easiest system to use and it's super functional. So please support us as much as you possibly can. This has been an absolute pleasure delivering to yourself. This is episode two, talking about the ease of invoice and getting cash into your system so quickly and easily. I would love to have you uh, please join us for the next episode, episode three, where we will be talking in much more detail about how you can actually connect payment portal systems in the back. That means Stripe, PayPal, to make it super easy for a customer to add even more what we classify ease in the process of an automation in the process of receiving money in your bank account. So please do like please like, please subscribe. It's so easy in the bottom there. Comment below to help us to answer your questions and make this really valuable to yourself. So it's good, goodbye from myself until the next episode. Jatinda? As goodbye from myself until the next episode. Thank you. All the best. See you soon. Thank you very much.